Hey everybody, wanted to bring you along today to show you how I test my soap to make sure the pH is adequate enough to start to use. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, roughly five weeks ago now, I made handmade soap with deer tallow and it has cured for the last five weeks kind of in an open area, but I wanna test the pH before I start using it. So I bought from Amazon, these little this little pH strip indicator so it just has strip inside that you peel off and then you match up the pH to the pH kind of color color wheel or color chart here to see what your pH is and when you're making homemade soap I've read online anywhere from a 9 to 11 and 8 to 11 anything 11 and over though is not great so they say between 8 and 10 is ideal so that's kind of what I'm shooting for here today but then I got to thinking, last time I tested my soap, I just trusted that these things worked. Uh, so what I wanted to do today was just test an acid, my water, which should be close to neutral, so close to seven, and then the soap to see where we're at. So first, I have a little cap full of vinegar. And so I dip my yellow pH strip in, and you can see that it is, you know, like a, it's like a, a dark orange color and so I match that to the color chart and I don't know it's hard to see on camera but we're roughly in the two to three in this this area here so the two to three color chart so that that makes that makes sense I think that's that's bang on so let's rip off another little piece I don't want to use all my pH then I'm just going to test the water Nothing. So that's cool. This is kind of fun. I'm gonna go around testing all other different things in the house. So this this right here is seven. So it's it's close to seven, between six and seven. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'd say it's closer to seven than six. All right, so now let's test our soap. So here's a little one of the little bricks of soap. And all I do is just take the soap kind of rub a little on there and I just rub it around a little bit whoops take my test strip and I don't want to touch it with the fingers that I whoops okay and you can see immediately that that color change there kind of cool and so let me show you where on the color wheel we are I don't know if you can see those numbers but you can see it's quite green and so the pH of our soap is nine I've got the little nine covered up there so we're bang on as far as pH is concerned so it's safe to use and then just for funsies, because I like to see kind of what the lather's like uh, and how it feels on my skin. I just, and you can see the lather, it's soaping up. I give it a sniff test. Just a slight kind of hint of, of the, the balsam fir oil that I use. So you can see how nice that lather is. It's awesome. So anyways, that's how you test little science on Easter Sunday about how to test your um, your soap pH to make sure that you know you've you've done it correctly and it's not going to damage your skin or hurt your skin when you use it. So if you've tried to make your own soap, that's a great way to test it and if you haven't, you can purchase this little pH test kit and test it out before you give it away to people so you can make sure that it's safe for them to use. Anyways, have a good one. We'll see you next time.